Once again, we try to understand the principles of Aikido and the intricacies of movement. This session was about being aware of our centers and the importance they play in executing a technique. Relying on strength and speed is not enough and should be considered redundant. Sensing or feeling a connection with our partner is much more appropriate. In some ways we are actively slowing down time as we become one with our partner's psyche. In that moment we recognize our centers as they move in harmony in the space that we occupy. There is no dominant power but two sides of the same force acting and reacting to the pulse of the universe. Both, Yuki and Tori are caught in a subtle yet gracious embrace of movement that is the essence and the laws that govern the universe. Achieving such a state brings on a sense of utopia that finally as individuals, we begin to peel back the true layers of Aikido principles. This will encourage us to explore Aikido even more, and its connection to nature and existence itself. We learn by observing, copying, and practice and this leads us to spend too much time seeking just the physical and technical aspects. In truth we need to tap into our faith and learn through experiencing the latent knowledge that O Sensei bequeathed us in the art of Aikido. This is where the true meaning of Aikido lies dormant. It does require dedication and a certain discipline that can only be achieved through sacrifice, trust, and faith, in ourselves, our partners, and the art. Yuki and Tori are the very elements of Aikido, without them we will not be able to experience Aikido, and what it stands for. Our humanity is expressed in the manner we accept each other our compassion and a desire to ensure peace, love, and harmony. This time as I cut up, I am cutting, I'm thinking about my hips, and I am coming straight down. I am not dragging down, if I do with somebody as big as me, you know, if I bend my knees and come down, and look at this. See, I told you. 